want any special treatment today. I want you to treat me like you would any other great superstar. <laughs> it's okay. I've got a video of it. I can tell that you're not her. Okay, so you can forget that for now. You can still come and have lunch anyway. You want to come through? <laughs> Oops, no, 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 that's definitely not right. Ah, that's better. This is the irrepressible Faith Brown. She grew up in Liverpool, but was destined for stardom. Here she is, out on the town with her brothers. And now we all know her as an actress, a singer, an impressionist, and an extremely funny lady. Would you care for some wine? For oh, us? I'd adore some, <laughs> please, Sophie. Thank you. There you go. Oh, wonderful. I have to say, this is a very rare moment of relative seriousness. Um, because actually, ever since Faith has been in the house, I've found it very, very hard to keep a straight face. And it's all your fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's quite I won't well. do it again. Okay. No, okay, we're, get, we're going serious. to be very serious now. One is we? going to be terribly serious now. When okay. she says it like that, who can refuse? <laughs> bottoms up, dear. Mm. Oh, bottoms up, darling. Cheers. Now, Faith, just while we are in this, in this calm, in this calm period, can I just show you the stew? Oh, yes. And you can just see, you can just see if it takes you back to your childhood. The dumplings. They're, qu they're quite they something, are magnificent. dumplings. Your dumplings are magnificent. Because I tell you, when I was at school, Sister Gertrude, my head mum <laughs> at school, she, she, she had butt teeth, like this, you know, <laughs> a butt teeth, and had a hump on her back, you know, and um, she used to have a walking stick and she used to come in. I mean, Carol, can't you, can't you pull your brass ear in any tighter? The milkman can't take the eyes off you. And she said, when? Now, what's wrong with your dumplings? What is wrong with those dumplings? They were awful. They were like rock. They were like bullets. Oh, school. Actually, school oh, stew was always grim, wasn't it? Dreadful. Dreadful. But look at that. Say, the light smell. as a feather dumpling there. <laughs> the aroma. <laughs> the aroma is gorgeous. <laughs> So wait, were, you at a, were you at a convent school? No, I was so just an ordinary Catholic had... school. Yes, just an ordinary Catholic school. It's been like this. It's been like this. It's not my fault. Oh, oh, I see. And who's your fault? And who's? It's my fault. Oh, darling, it's your fault. It's my. I don't. Can I, we I just remind you? Can I just together? remind you? I am not the comedian here. I'm the comedian. I'm the impressionist. Yeah, what do you call yourself? I, I call myself a. A bitch at the moment. No, I, I don't know what I call myself. <laughs> Hungry? <laughs> Thank you. Shall we, we, we go and eat, madam? Yes. Thank you. Cheers. Walk this way. Oh, I don't think that was her, dear. I'll walk my way. Please have a go. Does one use a spoon or does one use a fork? What do you think? One uses anything one likes, darling. It doesn't matter, I think. I think if it's watery when you do it, then... Oh, I'm going to go with a fork. No, if, if it's watery, then of course one has a spoon and the fork. And but a knife. I'm going, I'm going for fork. <laughs> I'm going for fork. So but look, tell me about your childhood. Yeah. Where, were you, where were you born? I was born in Liverpool. Born you're and bred. You're a popular... Scouser. Yes. Scouser. Okay. Oh yeah, I can put this on if I want to, you know. But, and four brothers. Mm -hmm. I was smack four bang. brothers? Yeah. Smack bang in the middle. Mm. And a lot of people thought, you know, oh my gosh, that I was spoiled. No way. No way was I spoiled. I'm spoiled now, but <laughs> no, no, I wasn't. I wasn't spoiled. Um, and you know, it's, you know, when, when I go back to the childhood, when you think about it, two and six used to get you all those chips and fish. Mm. We used to look forward to Friday night because we used to get chips, you know, shop mm. fish and chips because Mama cooked everything, everything. You know, and um, we, he used to give me, uh, you know, there was four pennies bag and the six pennies bag, mm -hmm. and he used to give me six pennies bag for the four pennies bag. Oh, you so isn't that, that wasn't I lucky? Oh, you were I was a lucky girl. little girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know, I got a good deal. Oh, this is gorgeous. It's really good. It's lovely. Mm. But this is this is this is basically the recipe you gave me. Your mm. mama's stew. Mama's stew, yeah. Your mama's stew, and it's got a lot of vegetables in it. Well, you know, mama was always wanting. Good, fresh veggies, no tin stuff. Hmm. And of course, those days, you know, tin stuff was very expensive. But Mama was always wanting, you know, the fresh is best. And it is, really, hmm. at the end of the day. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Did you, did you let drop something about, what's your real name? Oh, God. You let, drop, you let drop a little. I knew. I knew. When you were talking 
flirty gertie yes, up there. Yes, yes. Irene. Do I look like an Irene? I don't know. You know, when I go back to Liverpool. So you were an Irene? Yeah, Irene Carroll. My maiden name, of course, oh. Carroll. And when I go back to Liverpool, you know, I, I, I've come across people. When I was doing Sunset Boulevard, I've just finished playing uh, Norma Desmond as Andrew Lloyd Webber's Sunset Boulevard. And uh, when I was there, they were coming up to me at the stage door and saying, Oh, hello, Irene. How are you? I'm thinking, Irene? Who the hell is Irene? For you? <laughs> it's true. Because, you know, I've been fate now for, gosh, I'm not going to say how long. <laughs> but a, a lot of oh, years. Ten years a, or so. A, yes. Ten years. Yes, absolutely. I love you. Well, mm. she's gorgeous. <laughs> yes. It's no, it's true. Her, that's uh, no, I'm not. Not at all. <laughs> um, so, anyway, take me back. Take yeah. me back to those days in the, in the Carol household. Mm -hmm. All sitting around the table. Must have been quite a noisy affair. Five kids. All clamouring for food. Your poor mum. Yeah, my mother used to have to hide the biscuits because everybody would be out for the biscuits. Remember the biscuits those days? It was a luxury. So mm. on tops of the wardrobe, we'd find them in the cellar, we'd find them all over the place. But we'd always get them, mm. you know, and wait the tin down as if there was some. <laughs> <laughs> and then salt fish. We used to have salt fish. Mummy used to soak this fish, right? And we'd have it on Thursday for Friday. And uh, being a good Catholic family, of mm -hmm. course, you see. And we'd so he's, and it stunk the house out. It's so, and I'd go around with my hairspray in the hallway, you no, know, before a boy would pick me up, you know, like the boyfriend, and spraying all this from hairspray. I'm thinking, <laughs> my God. And you know what? That stuff, lacquer. Oh, it was yes, lacquer. Because it was really, days. yeah. Ugh, anything to get rid of this awful smell. And I'd open, they'd open the door, I'd open the door, and they'd go, <laughs> And then we'd have beans. Mm -hmm. Mama would have, uh, you know, the butter beans. Oh Set yes, those overnight. Absolutely. Lovely. I... Not out of a tin. No, no tins. We didn't have even sliced bread. When mm. what, it was, it, it was fantastic when they did sliced bread because oh, it's a luxury to go down to the to samples. We had a little bakery shop on the corner of our street, and Mama we used to go down there and get one slice, please. And we used to watch them with slice in the bread. It was such a... Oh, yes. Lovely. Can I tell you, though, yes, you can tell one me. time, when Mama said to me, I said, please, can I make a stew this time? Like, can I make it? Yeah, OK, you can make it. So, I, do you know that... Yes, I know everything. Me, me, <laughs> moi, I know everything. Yes, don't worry, I know, I know. And she said, have you got all the ingredients? Yes, yes, fine. And what I'd done is I gave too, put too much suet in, and only a tiny bit of flour, so you know what happened. <laughs> Sophie, when, when we got in for the dinner in the evening, I'd done it, I was so proud of it, and then I opened the lid, and of course, all that was on the top was an inch of oh, grease. Oh, yeah. Oh. No, no, don't. Oh, gosh, I'll never forget that, but I am a good cook. Mm. What I wanted to ask you was, has anybody ever taken sort of enormous offence at your impersonations of them? No, not at all. Oh, well, that's all right then. No, I was, I'm, very, I'm very lucky in retrospect, you know, because um, and Margaret Thatcher loved the impressions. Mm. Yeah, she, she loved them. I mean, she, she still, it was funny because, you know, when the press were hounding her mm. on, on, on the plane, well, in the middle of um, the Falklands, mm. and she did so much good. All right, then, maybe towards the end it wasn't so good, mm. <laughs> the believing in your own publicity, mm. but I, I, I did rate her. She was great. She gave me a good living. <laughs> well, yes. Anyway, she stood up, she was on board, and she was fed up with the journalist and the photographers taking photographs. So she stood up and she said, if you don't behave yourselves, I'll do my impression of Faith Brown. <laughs> literally. I mean, that sounded like more like Kira Duckworth, but, but she did. Literally did. And she then, really? that was in the press, that was in mm. the Times, and it was in the Telegraph. And when I met her at one of the functions, she said, Faith, I do hope you didn't mind me mentioning that. What? Oh. Front page! <laughs> it was on the front page! And I'm thinking, oh yes, of course I did. Mike, no, I didn't want you to do it. Amazing. Isn't it funny Isn't how things incredible? happen? Yeah. <laughs> Look, would you do, do I, I love your, go your on. Mrs. T. I know you've just done a bit oh, of Mrs. Gosh, T. Oh gosh, go on. Could you, could you do a little, a little bit of Mrs. T, you know, maybe having your supper? Because I love your Mrs. Thatcher. It's so funny. And it's so recognisable. Even though it sounds like Vera Duck. No, <laughs> no. No, okay. it doesn't. I'll do it. <clears throat> okay, here we go. I may have my knockers. 
But I'm learning to live with them. <laughs> rock on, Maggie. Oh, rock on. <laughs> well, I did say <laughs> we were going to have a very, very special guest to lunch today. But I didn't think it was going to be as much fun as this. Faith, you're fantastic. And I Thank love you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Here's to the nuns. <laughs> Bottoms up. <laughs> dumplings <laughs> in here in the pan <laughs> no, no. <You're... laughs> faith 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 <laughs> um, do, do these do this does this stew take you back to your childhood We'll start it again. Oh, <laughs>